Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. Recently, I found that my Pivx wallet fell out of sync with the blockchain and I was no longer able to see my Piv balance within the Pivx QT wallet. So essentially what happened here was that I had an available balance of zero, exactly like what you see right here, and I had the message that my wallet was out of sync. So that was uh, a reason to for concern, obviously, because I felt like I, maybe I'd, I'd lost my coins somehow. But what was interesting is that if I went into the transactions tab, it still showed the transaction where I had sent my PIV into the wallet. It had even showed some staking history there, uh, but nothing was happening and my available balance was zero. So where did my coins go? Clearly something ha had happened where something wasn't syncing with the blockchain, it wasn't syncing with the network. So down here at the bottom of the QT wallet where it says synchronizing with network, here I was not seeing anything in this progress bar. So right here, uh, currently my wallet is syncing, I will explain why in just a second, but where it's saying catching up, how many blocks it's processed of the transaction history, um, this was not changing. The number of blocks was stuck, it was actually stuck on block one. And so it said that it was one year and 51 weeks behind. Now you can see I'm currently one year and 39 weeks behind, but it is scan the, the block that it is scanning is continuously going up. So that's what should happen anytime you download a new QT wallet, it needs to synchronize with the network. That holds true for Pivx or any other QT wallet that you're going to be using. So in my case, where I had a wallet that was not syncing, what to do to fix it? Well, there is a feature, at least here in the Pivx QT wallet, where you can see how many active connections you have. So you need the more active connections you have, the better it will be able to scan the blockchain. But you can actually click on this icon here in the bottom right hand corner of the Pivx QT wallet. This will tell you all of the uh, peers that you are communicating with on the network to be able to scan the blockchain. Here you can find different information. You can um, you can find the inform the Pivx core, what uh, version of the wallet that you're using, when the build date was, all the basic information that you would expect to find. You can see the network traffic. So certainly there is information uh, coming in and out. This looks a lot like a, a TCP IP uh, measurement that you would expect, but this is directly with here the Pivx network. So the interesting feature here and the one that I am currently using is wallet repair. So wallet repair options. So something is wrong with my wallet. This is the place to go. So I am on a Mac. So these are all, this is where the location of the wallet is on my hard drive. And these are different commands that can be sent if I am, was to enter them into terminal to try to interact uh, with my Pivx wallet. So there's a salvage wallet option to function with the, the private key, to recover the private keys. Um, you can rescan the blockchain files, you can recover transactions. So recovering transactions didn't seem to be the problem because I could actually see my transactions happening. Um, rebuilding the index possibility, then this option down here at the very bottom, delete local blockchain folders. Deletes all local blockchain folders so the wallet synchronizes from scratch. Or the flag here is resync. This is what I've decided to do um, to try to get everything to resynchronize. That is what you can currently see is happening. So I click this, this button. I said delete local blockchain folders. And as you can see now, it is resynchronizing with the network. So this is going to take some time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the video on pause, let this go ahead and sync. We'll see if I can get my PIV back in the wallet, be able to access that again. And I will come back once this is done and give you a report so that you know if you run into this issue, how you can possibly fix it in the future. All right, I am back and the synchronization is finished with good news to report. So 
first thing you can see is that my balances are updated and there is PIV that is now available. So under PIV balances, currently have 113.96 PIV that's now that I can now see in my wallet. You can see that there are two transactions that appeared and that happened back in October um, and so those came through. If we click on the transactions tab you can see that those were received um, and then the other thing that happened is that uh, here at the time that synchronization completed the PIV was automatically convert or 10 percent of the PIV was automatically converted into ZPIV. Um, this is the zero coin balance. So this is the default in the PIVX wallet now with zero coin being added into PIVX. So this was an automatic feature that that happened um, the, uh, that they try to maintain 10% in ZPIV. Um, but what this means in total is that all of my PIV was recovered. Everything is back. Everything is synchronized properly you can see the check mark in the bottom right hand corner tells us that synchronization is finished everything is up to date uh, we're currently on block 999,035. so everything looks good functional once again if we click on send we have a balance that we can send out so it looks like i can now once again work with my PID. So that's the quick update guys. There is a wallet repair function in the QT wallet. This is the place to go if you're having issues with your synchronization in a QT wallet. I hope this is helpful to anyone who's running into issues with their wallet and please uh, leave a comment in the section below if you're having issues with your wallet. See if we can find something that will work for you. And give this video a like if you found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.